Hey guys, what is up? My name is Morgan. If you are new here, I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And today I'm going to be doing a roundup of my favorite products for the month of May. So if you wanna see what came out on top, then just keep watching. Nobody asked for this information, but I'm gonna share it anyways. May is like the craziest month ever always for me. It's Jose's birthday. That's my husband. If you don't know him, it's my dad's birthday. Then it's my birthday. And then it's Mother's Day. And then it's my parents' anniversary, though that one I'm not as affected by. But anyways, needless to say, May is crazy for me. The end of the school year, it's crazy for me. Yeah, I tried a lot of new products, a lot of new makeup came out, but unfortunately I feel like this month's favorites video is gonna be a bit weak because while I tried out a lot of the products to review for you guys, I didn't really get to dive in deeply into the products. So there's a few products that I feel like have potential to be in this month's favorites, but I don't wanna lie to you. If I only used it once, I really don't wanna put it in a favorites video. In a couple weeks, my school year will be over. I think next month's favorites will be jammed pack because I have plans to wear makeup like every day to really deep dive into these products but nonetheless as always I found products that I wanted to talk about but first I want to get started with my channel of the month I've skipped out on this the last few months I just haven't been able to consume as much YouTube but there's a channel that I really would love to see grow so if you guys haven't checked out beauty and the frizz's channel out you need to check her out her name is Kara she is just such a genuine human being. She is so funny and she's truly herself. And what I love the most about her videos is that for her, it really is all about the love of makeup and makeup therapy. And that really hits very close to home for me because I just, I love makeup so much and being able to turn on the camera and apply makeup for you guys is truly an escape for me. And even without the camera, it's an escape for me. And I really can feel her love for makeup in her videos. Not to mention, her and I both are teachers in Maryland and she lives pretty close to me um, within driving distance, definitely. So I feel like I can relate to her in many ways. She's hilarious on Instagram. Anyways, I would just love to see her channel grow and I think she just deserves some recognition. She's been covering a lot of indie brand makeup palettes, which I love. She loves eyeshadow looks. She loves experimenting with different techniques and colors and textures. And she also loves Pat McGrath. So she fits right in with the club. So anyways, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to subscribe to her channel, tell her that I sent you, and you would definitely love her content if you are into just hanging out, talking about makeup. That's exactly what I love about her channel. It just feels genuine, and it's just for people who love makeup, you know? That's what it all comes down to nowadays. So let's get into my products. We'll start off with my face primer that I've been enjoying. This is from Milani. I did receive this in a PR package, but I've been loving this. This is the Milani Peach Glass Skin Primer. Now, if you can't handle fragranced skin items, then this is not going to be for you because this has a very strong peach scent to it. I'm like, bring me the fragrance. The more artificial, the better. If it smells good, I love it. Probably not the best for somebody who has sensitive skin, but I like what I like. This is called called a glass skin primer and it does just that. It gives you such a dewy glow and I just know so many of you are gonna love this for this summer. The glow does tone down a bit as it dries down because you'll see in my demo I'm like super glowy at first. It tones down especially once you apply foundation over it and you guys know I do have, well maybe you don't know, I don't know. You probably don't keep tabs on me like that, but I have more dry skin, so this really hydrates the skin. So if you're looking for something that really applies a very dewy glow and is hydrating to the skin, I think you will really like this, especially from the drugstore. I haven't come across, I probably have, I'm exaggerating, but this is right now at the current moment at this time is one of the only drugstore really dewy and moisturizing primers that I can think of. There probably exists primers like that from the drugstore but I've really been enjoying this one so I wanted to recommend it to you guys. Don't you love that I'm so glowy though that you can see all of my pores every single one of them but it's fine it's fine 
continuing on because we have a lot of products in today's video that are gonna make the skin glowy hence why you can see all my pores on this camera but anyways okay i debated whether or not to put this one in this video because you can't get it anymore well you can but it anyways i've recently dove back into the milk makeup sunshine skin tint i have mine in the shade sand if you were curious i almost decluttered this if you saw my most recent makeup declutter which by the way y'all are fiends for declutters because i was not <laughs> expecting to get the views on that that I did. So anyways, I get it. You guys like makeup declutters. Okay. <laughs> um, so I almost decluttered this because it had been a while since I used this and I'm so happy I didn't end up decluttering it because it is perfect for me. I remember liking this when I got it. I've always really liked it for the summer, but my skin has always not been very good, so I tend to gravitate towards products with a little bit more coverage. Now, I did recently, it might have been yesterday, upload my skincare routine video because in the last year, my skin has become the most clear it's ever been. The irony is though, I uploaded that video and then I got breakouts on my chin. I did it to myself though. I was picking on my chin the other day and I, I was asking for it. But <laughs> anyways, the irony. My skin for the most part has been really, really good. I've had very minimal breakouts. And now because I'm more confident in my skin, it's looking better. Products like this, a skin tint, is something that I can appreciate more than I ever have before. So I really love this because it gives a nice dewy glow to the skin. Like really, really dewy, but so good dewy. Like a summer dewiness. Do dewy 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 more dewy than i would normally prefer but there's something about this where it's like a flattering dewy it does not emphasize texture it just smooths over the skin but here here's the catch they reformulated this okay and i really did want to try the reformulation because i remembered liking this previously and i was like let me try the new one i didn't ever end up picking it up and i was watching alana davidson the other day and she said that the reformulation is not as good as the old formulation that it's not as dewy and it's just not the same so now i'm really sad because i only just started to really love this product like i said i always liked it but now i love it because it's with my new skin they go together really well and unfortunately it's like I can't recommend this to you maybe if you guys have tried the new formulation and the old formulation tell me your thoughts on the differences between the two if you um have this old formulation I at least wanted to encourage you to pull it out because maybe you're in the same situation as me you haven't used this in a while and maybe you know with the change of trends and all of that you might like this okay I have a bronzer next and 99% of the reason why this is in this video I I'm convinced is because I just love the packaging so much but hi if you're new here my name is Morgan I also just really love luxury makeup and the experience of makeup and I have a good experience with this so this is the Dior forever natural bronze so this is one of the new bronzers that came out with their spring collection I mean makeup moves so fast this isn't really new new from the brand anymore but I absolutely love the compact on this it has like it's, it's like a cushion a leather cushion but it's still very compact love this cream ivory shade that we have going on here stunning packaging and i picked up the shade four tan bronze now this is an impressive launch because they launched a very wide range of bronzers and oddly enough it's hard to get a hold of the lighter shades of bronzers i believe there's eight shades so shades zero through four it's a pain in the butt to get a hold of i purchased this from selfridges and selfridges is tricky and people get turned off because shipping is so expensive i'm telling you if you are a makeup hoarder like myself or just a makeup and enthusiast pay for the $60 yearly shipping for Selfridges it hurts up front but it's totally worth it because you can actually get items from Selfridges for cheaper because of the exchange rate and Selfridges low-key gets some a lot of luxury launches first before they're released in the US and they have fantastic fast shipping that's my little plug for Selfridges who would have known but anyways I got the shade at number four which I believe can only f be found in Selfridges for the US because shades 5 to 8 is what seems to only be available in the US. Anyways, I think definitely shade number 5 would have been too deep for me. I think maybe 3 might be able to work for me, but this is going to be a really great summer bronze shade. This is the bronzer I have on now. It's very warm to the skin. It applies beautifully. And most importantly for me, it's the packaging. Love me, hate me for saying that, but I really like packaging and um, it matters to me. So, And the formula is beautiful, don't get me wrong. So I'm very, very happy with this bronzer, both the formula and the packaging. 
packaging. Okay, let's move on to some more cheek products. We'll start off with blush, and I know you all are eagerly awaiting me to talk about Pat McGrath blushes. So here's the deal, like I said, uh, this month I haven't really had the opportunity to dive into products. So the highlighter from this launch, I've only used it once in the review and I really, really loved it, but I, I, I didn't feel comfortable featuring it in this video. Same thing with the quad, I still wanna play with it some more. I've played a bit more with the blushes, Really like the blush formula. Do I think it's this groundbreaking original blush formula? No, the blushes are $38, okay? They're really expensive. Long story short, it's worth picking up like one or two of the shades that you'll really like, but it's not worth picking up the whole line, at least in my opinion. But I'm slowly trying to get into every single color to really be able to narrow down my favorites for you guys. And the blush that I do have a backstory on that I wanna feature in this month's favorites is Desert Orchid. Now, I really like Flirtatious, I really like the Divine Rose blush as well, but I've only used those like once. This blush I've grabbed for a couple of times because it's perfect for warm looks. So if you have a skin tone around mine, I actually find this blush to be pretty versatile as a color. So what I love this for is warming up the face. So if you're into warm makeup, I think you will really love this shade. This is my recommendation for you. So it's this warm peach color that has a golden sheen to it. In my demo, I have a blush down already that I'll talk about next and I put this over it just to warm the whole face and you can see that golden glow it gave me. Now keep in mind that shimmer is going to emphasize a little bit of texture. I mean that's what I have going on here. Just be aware of that for this shade because it does have that shimmering here but it blends out beautifully over the skin and there's something special about the warmth that this gives the face. I was watching Kelsey Brianna J this morning. She used this shade and obviously she's much deeper than myself and it looked beautiful as like almost a highlighting kind of blush, like a blush lighter. Just the color of it though was so transformative. There's something about this color that I find very unique. So like I said, I really still do want to play with a lot of the other colors before I put them in a favorites video just like that and recommend them to you guys. But I can tell you I have a story with this one and I think it's such a unique shade and if you like warm eye looks then this is definitely the one for you. This blush palette I instantly fell in love with. It was instant attraction from the first time I saw the photo to the first use and I feel like nobody else is as crazy about this palette as me but I love it. I can't get enough of it. It is from NARS. This is the Orgasm on the Beach palette. I love the packaging and you open it up and you have six very shiny glowy cheek colors. Now I I would say you have four blushes in here and two highlights you can kind of make you can like mix it up you know you're not limited like this could arguably be a bronzer this is the base cheek color that I'm wearing today underneath the Pat McGrath and it's more rosy on the cheek it's a very unique color very versatile because you can get some warmth with it as far as bronzing but if you put it on the cheeks it does look rosy so these two shades have more pigment these two shades are a little bit more blush toppery they're very very shiny shiner than these blushes and then you have the highlights which are also really pretty. I really really love this. I love the colors in here. I love the mixtures of formulation. I think it really allows for a lot of versatility for what you can do with it. If you watch my original review on this I also pat myself on the back. I created a bomb eye look. I, I'm just really impressed with this palette and it's definitely the type of formula that I'm into right now, the type of cheek look that I'm into because I'm kind of fading away from using highlighter and just using a shimmery blush and calling it a day. And I just, I love what this brings and it's also a palette. Like there are highlighters in here, but it's, if you like a glowy cheek, you will really enjoy this. Again, I highly recommend you check out my review because this is not going to be for everybody if you don't like a glowy blush. Girl, run far, far away, but I really love it. And I had a lot of you comment on my video that you weren't going to pick this up because like if you have the Trist palette from them and there's a couple other glowy cheek palettes that they've come out with, like totally understandable. I wouldn't say this is a new formula from NARS, but I love it. I've been grabbing for it a lot. I I love the colors in here. I love the formulations. And is it the most unique product? No, but it's solid and I want to use it. So that means that's that's a lot for me with the amount of makeup that I have. Okay, so the next palette that I have, I have stopped using it the last couple of weeks because I was using it too much. Okay, big deal here. And a lot of you guys were asking me about this palette, if I was still using it, if I was still loving it. Yes, 
I had to hide it for myself. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a palette in the shade Pretty Blush Beauty. Charlotte Tilbury came out with two palettes, a lighter one and a deeper one. I gave the deeper one to my mom because it just... It wouldn't have been a palette that I reached for too often while I could make it work for me. This palette definitely was made for my skin tone and it just is something that's more comfortable for me to use. Oh my goodness, it is so boring, but you guys, I do all these looks for you. I play with all these colors, but deep, embedded deeply into my soul, I'm a basic blushed beauty, okay? I I wish I could have said the bad word. You know what I'm trying to say here. But anyways, love the quality in here. Love the formulation. I love that we get an airbrushed setting powder here. It's the most versatile palette she's come out with. It, it's so boring. It's so basic. You don't need it. But I really love her instant looks in the palettes. I just feel like they're so quick. They're so easy. Uh, and I love the look that this creates. It's just everyday. It's natural. You can play with other colors like the blush and highlight and such. Also on the eyes, I love this sparkly shade right here. This is a formula I don't think Charlotte Tilbury's ever come out with before, but I really enjoy it. I don't know, this is just such an easy one and done kind of palette. I'm, I'm not going to tell you you need it because, yes, I I'm, I realize the colors are boring, but that's what I like about it, okay? And I know some of y'all are boring people like me. <laughs> I do have one, like pure eyeshadow palette to talk about and oh my gosh it's so boring but I, I was boring this month I guess I don't know I'm wearing it maybe it's my favorite because of the name I don't know I am such a wannabe with Chanel I want to own a Chanel purse so bad but that's a lot for me a lot of money so I just buy the next best thing I'll talk about the jewelry later and I got into Chanel makeup and I'm, I'm trying I'm making this effort to try more Chanel makeup to incorporate it on my channel just because I love the aesthetic of their products. So they came out with their Le Beige collection. So I picked up three items from there, two of the eyeshadow palettes as well as one lipstick, which the lipstick's also gorgeous. Check out that review. It's just none of my favorites because I haven't been wearing it. But one of the Le Beige eyeshadow palettes, so pretty. I had to mention it. This is the one that is intense. So they came out with a pinky one, which I wasn't too keen on. I would have rather have just used a Charlotte Tilbury palette as opposed to spending all that money on the Chanel one. But I'm really into the intense color. It's kind of like a safari green neutral kind of palette. A little bit more unique. Now the formula of Chanel, is it great? now. It's a good formula. It's a definitely more subtle and sophisticated formulation and this that's a type of formula that I had to learn to love before you know I thought every eyeshadow had to be super packed with pigment, really glittery, very intense and you know as time has gone on and I've learned more about makeup I really do appreciate the sophistication of a luxury eyeshadow and this is like the definition of sophisticated. So you're not going to get punches of color here uh you can see like it's nothing crazy but it's about the ease of use with these and they just look very well done all over the eyelid i will say though i used this shade today as the crease color in the outer corner color it looked a bit patchy and today's the first day where i felt like maybe it was harder to use whereas all of the other times i've I think I've worn this like three or four times now. The looks that I created were so quick and easy to do. One and done. And it looked, like I said, very sophisticated, very chic, very simple. I've, I've been really loving this color story. So today was Ali the first day that I was like, maybe not the best. But I did use the shade all over the lid. Again, like I said, I was looking for more shimmer. And then I was like, no, no, no. That's not what this is about. So now I like it again. I don't know. It's just like a really easy way to get a smoky eye. If you like the look of a smoky eye, but maybe you don't think you have this skill level for it. I'm telling you, this formulation makes it so easy, except for today, apparently. I don't know. Anyway, if you're interested in Chanel eyeshadows, it's definitely not like a must-have. It's totally for the name, and I acknowledge that, but I really do love the color story of this one, and it makes me feel good to use it. Okay, I have a mascara, and if you're new here, me liking and featuring a mascara is a big deal because I have these tiny, itty-bitty, little lashes okay i'm half asian i definitely got the asian lash gene hence why i gotta fake it till i make it i got this in a pr package this is the maybelline the falsies lash lift and i'm very slow about working through mascaras normally i just end up putting my mascaras in my giveaway basket but something about this i was like hmm 
let me use it and boy am I happy I did this is a solid 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 mascara for me to feature a mascara in a favorites video it's a lot this is the perfect mixture of lengthening thickening and separating it's just very rare for me to find a mascara that does it all I know it doesn't look that impressive in the demo but I promise you based on what I'm working with my lashes look fantastic so I wouldn't say it leans more in one direction it's just all equally lengthening volumizing separating and it just makes my lashes look better like that's all I ask I'm not looking for the falsy effect you know I'll put on my own falsies okay I get it we can't make miracles happen here but I've been loving this it's been doing more than a lot of other mascaras I work with it kind of reminds me of like a Pat McGrath one kind of fat a little bit too fat but it's good I really really have been loving this one I'm a nice mascara to pick up next time you go to the drugstore if you're in need let's move on to lips I have a lip liner formula that I have been super into and it's by M Cosmetics these are their soft blur velvet lip liners Michelle Phan I mean she takes these formulas and just makes them so desirable so the simple name this is a lip liner okay nothing special about it soft blur velvet lip liner like yes okay put it on my face so my favorite shade uh is in the shade teddy it's just like a great warm contoury kind of shade so it's going to really make your lips look fatter you know it's that perfect contour shade but it has a little bit more warmth to it so it might work well with a warm kind of look so I love the shade Teddy I also really enjoy the shade Foxy for like a deeper brown kind of look so these are really creamy very easy to apply but they aren't too harsh they aren't going to pack down too much color when you apply it they have that velvet blur look that is described by the name of it and it's just a great everyday lip liner so if you're not looking for too harsh of definition just an everyday lip liner to add definition but nothing too crazy this is a beautiful formula it's not supremely long wearing by any means but it's gonna make your lip color last longer they have a very good wear time but most importantly what I think is special about this formula is that even if I were to go in with this dark brown lip color it doesn't look crazy there's this blurring effect that this gives that makes it more wearable I also have a liquid lipstick from Maybelline this is the shade ruler and this is the perfect bold pink okay it's not too garish it doesn't look like you're wearing a neon pink on the lip but it also isn't like a nude pink it's that perfect pink lip that's gonna make your face stand out give you a little pop without being too much I will add a picture right now of the day that I wore this I talked about it on Instagram a little bit just the perfect pink color so if you're looking around the market for a pink this is awesome and if you aren't familiar with the super stay matte inks from Maybelline beautiful formula for mask wearing now before masks were a thing I would have ran far 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 away from this formula just not as into liquid lipsticks this is very drying but this is the longest lasting liquid lipstick you will ever own without being too drying is it drying yes it's a liquid lipstick but it's very very thin and it does not budge I had this swatched on my hand for three days I couldn't get it off this is literally the longest lasting liquid lip ever and if you wear a mask but you still want a lip color this is the type of formula that you need to go to. They have so many colors in this range. I'm partial to this pink color though. I really like it. But there's a lot of other colors that I enjoy. But this is the perfect, perfect pink. Okay? I had to tell you. Okay, last makeup product in today's video is from Kaleidos. Now, I believe these are sold out. So keep an eye out for a restock. These were sent to me in PR. But this lip product, super good. This is like a liquid form of the M Cosmetics lip liner. And that it's very blurring. It's like a classic on your lips so they came out with two sets in their new collection and this is the like, new I don't even know the name of it anyways these are called the cloud lab lip clays okay I think this set's called the sand castle well anyways look at this packaging first of all it will stay in this little book forever and ever and I love the actual tube itself it's this if you could take a look soft matte packaging Ugh, Kaleido says it best with packaging I'm wearing the shade Tara there's lots of other beautiful nudish colors in here I would say this kit does run a little bit more warm than I was hoping I wish it was a little bit more mauve -y. but anyways the colors are really nice and I absolutely am obsessed with this formulation it's so comfortable so comfortable what just happened? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. It's a really comfortable matte lip shade. It's that blurring kind of lip, very like Asian style. Um, it doesn't move, look. Nothing. Oh, there was something, hold on. But seriously, like, okay, barely anything. Like it really doesn't move. It's good to wear with a mask and you don't feel like you're wearing anything. I'm telling you, like I feel like I don't have anything on my lips. You know, it's not moisturizing, but ugh, I love it. It lasts forever. It feels so soft in the lips. I mean, it really doesn't feel like anything, which is amazing. And I am such a huge fan of this formula. It feels like powder on the lips, but in a good way. If you tried this, you know what I'm talking about. I'm really into this formula. I hope they sell these in individual colors and make new colors. This is such an amazing lip formula. So extremely comfortable. And this color is very, very cute. Nice and orange. Okay, last thing that I wanted to talk about. I feel like I've acted weird this whole video. It's because it's like past my bedtime. It's like nine o'clock on a school night. Um, I want to talk about my jewelry. If you didn't know, I really, really am addicted to jewelry. I'm, it's a mess, I'm a mess. So, I recently got into these kind of handmade luxury brand, because I'm a wannabe, jewelry, okay? You can get them on Etsy. I will link the stores that I got my pieces from, because I don't think you can get exactly what I have, because I think it, they're made in very, very limited batches. Now, there's real, in this case, Chanel, like, buttons, and then the store owner, like, hand makes them into actual jewelry. So, my mom got me these earrings for my birthday this month super cute and I also have this super cute necklace to match and I've been wearing these a lot so you guys have been asking me where I've gotten them so I'll put them down below Etsy shop you can shop a small business really fantastic I have another one that I picked up a few months ago this one's so cute this one looks really cute with this shirt so yeah I mean they have other brands as well I like I said I'm a wannabe Chanel owner <laughs> but they have like louis vuitton dior all types of adorable jewelry and they're still expensive i ain't gonna lie to you but i mean it's definitely not as much as you would pay from it actually coming from like a chanel jewelry whatever i don't know so yeah i've been wearing them a lot and i really really like them all right you guys there we have it those were my favorites for the month of may i am really excited for my june favorites it's, it's june 3rd the day i'm filming this but since I'm done with school this month, I just, there's going to be so much time to play with makeup and I cannot wait. Anyways, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I'm really, truly so appreciative. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.